In this video, I want to give a quick demonstration how you can quickly switch from, for example, a part you programmed in Superior Drummer to uh, another drum library. In this case, I'm going to use the brand new Get Good Drums Classic Rock kit. Um, yeah, let's dive into it. So I have this basic drum part programmed in Superior Drummer right here. Um, it's just a drum idea I had when I was sleeping tonight, so... I now want to convert this drum part to new Get Good Drums library. So let's first load up Contact. I'm going to choose a preset, Modern Classic Process. I like that one. If I just try to drag this down here to a new library, it's going to sound like crap. Not like crap. It's still musical, but it doesn't work. <laughs> so we need to export our MIDI. Um, however, this works in your DAW. Find it out. Um, yeah, it's a pure drama. I'm going to go to MIDI Remap. Choose my MIDI file. And then I need to choose my source library. In this case, it's a pure drama and it's some of the basic kits, I guess. And I want to use Get Good Drums, One Kit, One of Classic Rock. And Contact has internal mappings, or GGD has internal mappings, so um, meaning different node values. In this case, I just stuck with the um, default mapping invasion, meaning I didn't change the mapping manually. That's what most of you guys might want to choose, the default mapping invasion. Okay, let's simply convert this and have a listen. It sounds great already, but there are two things I noticed when listening to the part. Um, I remember that in my Superior Drummer part, I programmed two crashes on the one together with the kick. And now I just heard one. Um, that's because in Superior Drummer, I used crash two and four, and Classic Rock only has two crashes. So probably crash four was also mapped to crash two. And the other thing is this fill at the end right here. The original part used um, a Rectum 2, and Classic Rock doesn't have a Rectum 2. That's why Rectum 1 is played four times. Let's have a look at MIDI Remap. Crash 4. As I guessed, Crash 4 was also mapped to Crash 2, as that's the last symbol existing. So in this case, we want to use Crash 1 for this. So we have two symbol sounds on the one. And also Rectum 2. Yes. Also as a guest, is it was mapped to Rectum 1. And in this case, we're simply going to use uh, Flotum 2. So let's have another listen. There you go. We now have two crashes on the one. And also we have a nice classic rock fill at the end starting with a snare and using all the toms there are. Thanks for watching this video and whatever library you want to get, get it and start converting. I suggest starting with classic rock and writing a nice, nice and heavy crunch riff or something like that. Thanks for watching.